Welcome back and thanks for staying to us. So watching this <laughs> this morning live on Metro TV, live on DSTV channel 277, live on Facebook and YouTube. My name is Anaya and I'm still here with Desi and DK Cyber has joined us and this morning we are talking about cyber security and I think we've, we've mentioned cyber security every time but today we'll talk about it more. But, but what are some of the questions people ask you about cyber security? They ask what is cyber security? Yes, what's cyber security? How do I get myself involved? Then how do you DK cyber? How do you get yourself involved? Mm -hmm. And do we even have cyber security personnel here? Okay. Uh, you do know, we? Do, yes. So it's, those are some of the questions because mm -hmm. they think that cyber security is way far away from us. Mm -hmm. Uh, those time we talk about cyber security, people have a lot of speculations about it. They think that you yeah. just go out to read something online. Yeah, yeah. Shit. yeah. But there's a lot to that. We're yeah. going to look into that. Okay. But is, isn't it, I mean, I'm just asking though, um, in, in, in some of the schools in Ghana, we've got people studying IT. And is, is that where yeah, it starts from? Yeah, some people study computer science yeah, at so, the university. Yeah. So, mm. so, so that's where it starts from. So we have, yeah, you can study your computer science, you can study After your science, ICT, you but we have cyber security. It's a different thing from there's computer science, That's computer. An advanced one. Yeah. An advanced we are one looking at secu security here, okay. right? So those are the basics. Yes, you need to have kind of IT mm -hmm. knowledge, have some kind of networking background, have some kind of programming background. Mm. But if you okay. don't have those, okay. you, you can't can start. start. Yeah, but yeah, we have people who are yeah. lawyers, doctors. They just started their life in cybersecurity, and they are doing very good. Okay. Yeah. Wow. But let's talk about um, the three main pillars of cybersecurity. Yeah. Yeah. Let's talk about that. All right. So when you talk about cybersecurity, we are looking at how we can define computers, mobile phones, our servers, anything that runs on the network. I'm yeah. talking about mobile phones, the internet, how we can defend that. Now, when it comes to the cybersecurity theme, we have something that we believe in that's called the CIA trial. That is the confidentiality, the integrity, and availability. Now, aside away from that, we are looking at cybersecurity as a field whereby we are going to protect our digital infrastructures. Okay. So under cybersecurity, we have the information security. We have a lot under cybersecurity. Mm. So when you look at cybersecurity today, we are looking at how you and I, a field whereby we will protect our digital assets. Today, you know that everything is technology. Yeah. We moved from social media to computers to networks, everything. How are we going to protect ourselves? Now, we from almost about six years down the line, we've seen that some of the advanced world, like the United States, they are spending much in cybersecurity. Why are they doing that? Because of cyber attacks, data breaches. There are a lot of information people are giving out, and we need to protect that. that I was thinking about that, because we're talking about cybersecurity, mm -hmm. and some of these world powers always have breaches, yeah. email breaches, yes. election manipulation, you know, yes. you know, all of those yes. Yes. things. Yes. So how, do, how, how yeah. does it really work? Yeah. I mean, even, in, even, in, even them, you know, even them, yeah. they get the breaches. How yeah. much more? I, I like it. You see, see, the point here is that, in as much as we have physical police people protecting us, we still have crime going up. Mm -hmm. That should tell you that every now and then we are learning. Technology keeps we advance ourselves. So today we might speak about one protection mechanism. Tomorrow it will change. Every day, day attack changes. You mm, understand? Okay. So we always need to learn. And as you said, yes, there are a lot of data breaches and it has been uh, predicted that this year we are going to spend almost about $133 billion to solve cyber crisis. You know? Really? So, yes, so that is it. Worldwide. Uh, worldwide. Yes, please, worldwide. And Africa, Ghana here, we have no exemption. I do receive calls about, last time we spoke about ransomware. ransomware. People, yeah. files are being decrypted, demanding of ransom. Organizations, corporate entities are losing data. And the point here is that the challenge to me is that because we don't have cybersecurity personnel in our various entities or organizations, mm. we are not even able to detect it. How or to which point can we examine that our network, we have an open port whereby a, an attacker can use that to exploit whatever they have in the organization. Oh. So you see, the point here is that we need to even provide what we call in-service training for our IT guys. I am an IT guy, but that doesn't mean I'm a cybersecurity guy. Because the cybersecurity, we, we teach you how to protect the network, the infrastructures. Okay. Yes. So that's why the key now, I think they are regulation that every bank we need to have one or two cybersecurity personnel. Why are they doing that? Because they've seen that most uh, past years, they have seen that most of the time they lose money through the cyber attack. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And those are things that you cannot really detect it. 
It's on the server. So this morning, if I'm taking something from your account, you are not seeing it. You get a point here. Okay. Yes. You, you think that, you know, um, Guinean companies, as you, as you mentioned, yeah. get calls, having really taken it serious. I mean, talking some. about cyber. Yeah. Some of them. Some. Some, some some some. And the point mm. here is that when you look at the whole West Africa, I'm so happy to say that Ghana is one of the countries that we believe in tech. And if you look at our fintech community, that is the finance and mm. technology coming together, yeah. we are one of the countries that we are on top of our game. Mm. So then security becomes key here for us. Okay. If we are advising people to come online to participate in online banking, True. how are we protecting ourselves? What are some of the basic education are we yeah. giving out to our people? For them to stay alert, True. we know phishing campaigns. I told you that one day we'll do a phishing attack here for you to see how I can easily hack your Facebook account, how I can easily take your IG account from you. With those phishing campaigns, within two minutes, command our run. I can do that. And those are the knowledge people have. So then they have learned about those things. How do we inform our community, yeah. our people about it? That is cybersecurity. So now I say cybersecurity is not a want, but it's a need it's now. It's a need now. Yes. Yeah. Over the weekend, um, I was having a conversation with security analyst Adib Sani. Okay. And he was talking about, you know, our, our security services yeah. and how information get leaked into the public domain. Yeah. Um, because, I mean, those things are security matters. Yeah. And so it needs to be in that space. Yeah. And it was about the national security saying that there are people in, uh, some people in um, the Upper West region, you know, um, in co terrorist sort of. Man. And he mentioned that. In this day and age, we do not have encrypted messages from, from, from the, the, the source. You think it's a dangerous thing for such an apparatus, important as the national security, not to be having encrypted messages when it comes to the information that they share in yeah, their space, in their that space, it's yeah. able to get into the public it's, domain? It's, it's dangerous. See, uh, I believe that from that office, we need to have all our messages going out should be encrypted. And why should it be so? Because, see, now we have script kiddies who learn from online tools. They are easily able to use Wireshark and other tools to, inter to intercept some com uh, communication mm -hmm. and use it and get it. So when the information going out is encrypted, that means that even when I'm able to intercept it, I see it in hashes, I see it in words that doesn't make meaning to me. It takes another high level of knowledge to really decrypt that. And okay. not easy, you understand? So I believe that if we are in that office, we need to have encrypted messages going out. Not only that, even on our uh, offices, our mm. home networks and all those stuff. That is why I think that Twitter, they are trying to, I think they, they, he said that he's going to try to introduce what is uh, encryption in their DMs, okay. right? So you see uh, WhatsApp that's end to end yeah. encryption. Yeah. So Twitter, Facebook and Instagram, they are seeing that now is a need for them to do that because now data is key here. Yeah. You understand? So I cannot easily trust my data with you and uh, at the end of the day, it goes out. That is why when it comes to our field, we have the confidentiality, the integrity and availability. The information going out must be so confidential. I'm chatting with you this month. What is the point that, what, what, what is the security level that the information I'm sending to you, hi this month, hi you this morning, it's only you receiving it, seeing this. No one is intercepting it, yeah. getting that information. Now we advise or people do online banking, online buy and sell with our credit card details. What and what platform are we inputting our 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 our, 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 our details? True. You understand? So all these things need to be encrypted, and it's key here. Yeah. Since DK said it's key, that's why we are having the master. Uh, cyber security and ethical hacking for beginners yeah. and they said learn with DK cyber yes, tell us yes. more about yeah. this whole um class, um, class zoom class yeah <laughs> yeah all right so thanks see coming into the field for almost seven years now i've seen a lot of loopholes believe those time I, I was learning cyber security i went to a lot of materials paid a lot of classes, courses online. But I believe that most of them were so tutorial based. But my field is so practical, if you know, you know. Right? So I'm trying to develop a course for workers, for staff, for students. And I said that the time is from seven to nine. Even sit in your own, the comfort of your own house, through Zoom, get informed, get educated, get to know the current attack, the current threat, what you need to know under cybersecurity. Mm. You might not need to use it to work. 
we have people who want to learn it to use it to work fine, but other people too, you need to learn it right now, maybe this month. You need to learn, have knowledge about this cybersecurity world so that you can also learn how to protect yourself. Yeah. So yes, we are bringing that. That's why the price is very cheap. We are doing it for three months and it's going to be on Tuesdays, Thursdays and Sundays, yeah. right? So that at the end of the day, you know about this kind of cybersecurity world, how yeah. you protect yourself. So it's not just about cybersecurity. We're also doing ethical hacking. Ethical. Okay. Yeah, so how can we actually and test our mobile devices how can we check some vulnerabilities in our machines how can we check vulnerabilities on our networks yeah. so you see it's an interesting class okay. to be and i mean interesting things are here Intro yeah. uh, introduction of cyber security yeah. um networking and yeah. networking security yeah. uh, computer programming, programming. Uh, master ethical hacking, hacking yeah. web application security it security compliance and I mean, the ultimate password hacking yeah. and cracking training. Yeah. Wow. And, and there are lots of bypass that I didn't add to relate. Like okay. How to protect your social media, mm -hmm. how to try your mm -hmm. hands on social media hacks. I mean, Those we, basic stuff are going to be part of it. And okay. we started. So oh, I wish that. Started you, already. Yes, please. So we, today we yeah, have a June class. Yeah, June to August. Yeah, so, so today we have a class. Started. Okay. So, so it's not too late. How, how's the patronage? Oh, it's quite warm mm. yeah i have students from ghana did you expect and outside. people to be so interested in that oh yes i did because when i do share uh, people were oh dk we want to learn this okay. so we want to learn this so I for mean, me going through i have to bring them some course package that yeah. will be good for them and it's a cool yeah cool 600 ghana that's it so yeah. cool for three six, three months yeah. so 600 yeah. 300 oh you divide it 200 200 200 this is it can pay for right, everyone you, i mean uh, you know you know, and it's his best man, so he's really <laughs> going to shower, uh, S, uh, shower S with so many words. Yes. Money. Money. Oh, yes. bless. So if you want blessings. to really come to mm -hmm. the class, yeah. I think my number is plus two three three five five two three seven three six zero three mm -hmm. plus two three three five five two three seven three six zero three or you go to the website yeah. cyberzonegh.com mm. you see a whatsapp link there just click on it takes you to my personal dm let's talk about it this man is a, he's an international about man <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> <laughs> plus two three plus three. Three, three. <laughs> thank you so much yeah, thank you cyber for coming today sure, and it's been interesting um listening to you and definitely we all need to make sure that we better assess when it comes to cyber security and and uh, we're wrapping up, but you know, we want to say big shouts to Original TV yeah. and Metro TV. No, to Original TV. They got to the final. They got to the final. So yeah. there was a Media Olympics um, over the weekend, and uh, Original TV placed second. Yeah. And Metro TV placed third. Third. The Good. first we can't <laughs> say it. We won't say it. <laughs> I mean, big shouts to everybody that turned up at the Airwalk Sports yeah. Stadium. Coach will say, I did my training, my warm up. Desi doesn't play any uh, sports. I mean, up next is Good Morning Ghana with Annie F. Wampo. For tomorrow, we'll talk about <laughs> what happened that day. Desi did nothing. My name is Anaya Tanawa. And my name is Desmond Okay. Good as you can call me Desi Fading the Star. We're back tomorrow, same time, 7 a.m. to 7.30, right here on Metro TV. See you. Bye bye.